Okay, guys, so I'm just using basic crayons in case y'all are interested in that as well. Um, I have a few colors laid out. Don't feel like you have to use the same colors as me. I'm doing this kind of muted bluish brownish cow just because I feel like if Modigliani was going to paint um, a farm animal, he would probably still stick to his same kind of muted color palette of grays and blues and browns so and i'm using a little bit different colors than what was in my original one because i feel like it's so important to change things up if you want to use a little bit different colors than me that's okay you don't have to do exactly the color palette that modigliani would do i would like to see beautiful coloring though if you guys notice i put that deep dark value at the bottom and then i'm kind of going to medium and lightening it up a little bit as I go to the top. It's very windy this morning. You guys went outside. It's super, super cold. Uh, this is our last cold front, though. As I'm coloring, I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about the garden. I have a video that hopefully I'll be able to post for you. Um, just unfortunately with everything that's going on with coronavirus, I haven't been able to go up there, but I went up there probably about um, 10 days ago and believe it or not, with a little bit of rain we had, some things were doing really well. And so what I did was, since I couldn't share the collard green pods with you guys, um, or the collard green plants to eat, um, I took the seed pods and I've been cracking them open and getting the seeds out of the seed pods. You let those dry out in the sun, let them get really dry. You guys know what seeds look like. You know what they feel like. We talked a lot about seeds and seed texture. Collard green seeds are super tiny, kind of round, brownish. Um, and then that way, you guys will have some collard green seeds for next year if you guys want to grow collard greens. Some people don't like them. They don't like the taste. But I think that with a little butter, they're pretty good. Hope everyone is doing well. I have been praying for all of you and um, hoping that everyone is safe. I know some of you guys may not even have crayons at home and that's okay. Um, if you just want to watch me do the video just to have something to do. I do hope you guys are trying to keep up with your um, regular school work though. I know that's so hard. And I really do feel for you guys having to do that on your own at home and Zoom with your teachers. I know they're working very hard to try and help you as much as they can. Um, my son has six classes, so I know what it's like. He's having a very hard time keeping up with all that. So you may just want to do art sometimes to relieve some stress if you're, if you're having a hard day right okay so i went back and layered with this kind of darker blue and i'm going to do that a little bit more around some of the edges okay i think this is actually a metallic crown but i don't think that really matters so this is what we call an undertone, guys. We were talking about painting before we left. I wanted you guys to paint on those sweet little canvases I ordered for you. Um, if you were painting, this would be your, your under undertone uh, paint. My daughter said he looked kind of angry with his eyes, but you know, sometimes they do get angry. They get a little frustrated. Um, so I think that's okay. You can make yours look however you want. You can make a happy cow. <coughs> that's what you feel like making. Okay, guys. On the next video, I'm going to show you um, kind of how I do the background. 
and how I finish up the rest of the cow.